Welcome to Rick's Kitchen and today um, we're going to show you how to make apple crumble, Donna's apple crumble. This is the best. Um, firstly, obviously you need apples, um, some nice green apples. I've got some golden delicious here. You can use Granny Smith's, Ooh, you can juggle with them as well. Um, so about 10, 12 apples is what you want. The other ingredients, really simple, uh, porridge, oats, or like the Uncle Toby's. So just one cup of oats, um, plain flour, again, just one cup, and sugar. We prefer brown sugar, so again, one cup. The other bad stuff is the butter, 100 grams of that. Um, for apples, um, you can do the old school and peel them, um, chop them up into nice little chunks. But we've got this fancy contraption, the apple peeler and corer. So obviously, you give the apples a wash, um, you stick the butt end down here, this is pretty cool if I stab that, and then all you do is just turn it, keep turning, and good luck, hopefully this works. Look at that, oh, she's gone off, off center a bit. But anyway, we'll, we'll keep, we'll back it up a bit. <laughs> all right, here we go, we can adjust this back section. I learn something new each time I do this. So this is how it works, it peels the apple, and cores at the same time, and just go all the way through. Gadgets, how's that? And there's your apple there. Look at that, like the old monkey tail. So we've got a few apples there. Um, like I said, you can peel them and chop them. I'm just gonna go straight to the, the chopping section. So there's a couple of seeds there, so I'll just wash them out. And then back to chopping, as easy as this. So chop, chop. And then we'll just chop them sideways as well. So we're going to make them pretty fine. Now the original recipe, Donna makes bigger chunks and she gives it a cook. But today we're experimenting with this version with smaller pieces. And we're just going to put them into, this is the baking tray. We're going to put it in the oven. With. So I want to fill this up with apples. Ta-da, bonjour. This is the apple all ready to go in the bacon dish. Again, it's a, it's a thick size one. Uh, we like lots of apples, so we load it right up. Uh, next thing, brown sugar. We're just gonna do one cup. Now we're gonna do this a bit faster um, because we're gonna mix it all up in this bowl with the oats. Nearly a cup, that'll do us. Beautiful. Uh, the oats, same deal. We'll do a cup of those. All right, and because no one's watching, we put in extra because of all the foods. Um, the next one is the flour. Now, flour is a little bit harder to get out. So just give it a bit of a stir up. And again, one cup of flour. Just good old fashioned flour, not flour power. Now, I was almost about to do a Gordon Ramsay moment and say, this is fucking delicious, but I'm not going to swear on the video, okay? In case the kids are listening. All right, so we've got a cup of flour. You can see the mix. There we go. Cup of flour. We can give a little bit of a look, but we've still got one more ingredient to add, and that's the butter. So... Keep your dryer handy, and we're going to slice up the butter into nice little chunks. Yes, now I don't want to do a Gordon Ramsay here, but I just want to cut them up small enough because I'm going to blend it with the other gear, and we just want nice chunks, easy to squish in our hands with the rest, and obviously we're going to wash our hands sing happy birthday at least twice uh, before we do the, the next stage. Um, you could probably do it a lot neater than me, but I'm just using my creativity to slice it as best I can. Like, I'm no cook. And um, anyway, I reckon that looks pretty good. So, I'm gonna wash my hands. That's probably going to be boring, and we'll come back and we'll change the mix. 
All right, so again, when you wash your hands, um, make sure you rub it in, do the 30 second thing, sing happy birthday, clean in amongst everything. Now, I should take my watch off, I'll get the cameraman, Donna, to take it off before we do the next part. And uh, yeah, sing happy birthday a couple more times. Happy birthday to you. You live in a zoo. You look like a monkey. And you smell like one too. <laughs> All right, done. Konnichiwa. Welcome back to Rick's Kitchen. So we've washed our hands. We've got our mix ready to go. The oven is on 180, uh, preheating. And all we're going to do, the butter that we just cut, that's going to go into that, that mix of the sugar, the oats and the flour. So 100 grams of butter. There we go. Done. Now the clean hands, we're going to go from here and just mix this up. So if you want to come over a bit closer, you can see the consistency. It's quite powdery at the moment. You've got to get your fingers right in and squish it up and try to distribute that butter in with the sugar, the oats and the flour. So I'm going to work this for, I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes. More for the look. But um, come back in a bit and I'll show you what it should look like. Yeehaw. And this is the next part. Um, Come and have a closer look and see what's going on here. So we've got it into like a nice consistency. Um, the trick is to try and get the butter probably a bit smaller than what I cut it before. So it's easy to mix it up, but it's a nice consistency. It'll cook through anyway. But now uh, we've got our pan. We're just going to distribute it across as evenly as you can. So from here, it's a nice wide baking dish. Um, again, you can put as much apple in as you like. It's starting to fill up the gaps there. Just work my way around. So, um, yeah, this is a good dish. The oven is, is pre-warning as we do this. Can I say pre-warning? Pre-warning. Pre-heating. <laughs> Pre-heating. Thanks, editor. And we are nearly done this stage. We want to cover up all of that apple. I go around the outsides. It's just a work of art in progress. Look at that. So the next part in the oven, down to the last little bit. There's a couple little bits of apple I can see, so I'm going to try to hide them a little bit. Just pat it down a bit. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. We've got a nice distribution. Um, now, quick wash of the hands. And we're going to chuck it in the oven. The oven is ready to go. So back real soon. Here we go. Mabuhai, welcome to Rick's Kitchen. And uh, it's about 50 minutes on, so come and have a look and see what's going on. Uh, you can see in here, the colors start to look cooked on this side. To the left, the other's still not quite. So we're gonna leave it for about another 10 minutes, and now we're gonna just whack it on the grill, and 10 minutes, come back. So what do you call? And this is the apple crumble. You can come down closer. Check this out. Looking good, brown across the top, and that's uh, ready to go. So we're just going to turn it off, get the ice cream out, and start eating. G'day, this is the final part of the apple crumble. So you can come have a closer look, it's quite... Um, I'm just gonna get a test sample, a piece here. So there's all those apples. 
looking good and lots of the crumble on top there we go fantastic one. some ice cream on top of that and we're done and then all we do add some ice cream on be generous about that and that's it Ready? This is it. Mm. Fucking delicious. <laughs>